Hi guys, Dr. Johnny Ray here and welcome to one of our Common Sense Keto uh, videos uh, here on YouTube. Please check out our uh, Facebook page as well if you would like to join it. So what we would like to do is make you some killer keto strawberry ice cream. Certainly when we start with the basics of keto we would like everybody to start with the basics. High fat, low carb, moderate protein. But every now and then you want some treats and we like ice cream. We're ice cream lovers. So I've got for you a killer strawberry ice cream that's keto friendly and you're going to want to make this all the time. What we have here are some of our ingredients. We're going to make some strawberry ice cream today and I have some of our ingredients here as well. So uh, the mainstays of this is uh, Swerve which is one of our sugar replacements. What we do with our ice cream, which I'll show as we start making it, we also have xylitol as well. We have guar gum to add a little body to our ice cream. We have, of course, heavy whipping cream because you can't have ice cream without heavy whipping cream. And we also use almond milk as our milk instead of regular milk. Now you can get this sugar-free, unsweetened. You can get some unsweetened vanilla. Uh, almond milk, but we kind of like the uh, plain because it's kind of a blank slate uh, to uh, make our ice cream. So let's get started. So what we want to do is use our dry ingredients first uh, in our mixing bowl. You can buy this, um, you can buy Swerve at any local uh, store. Uh, you can uh, get xylitol at Walmart. You can mail order them from uh, Amazon as well. Uh, the strawberries, we got these from Kroger. If you can find these somewhere else, good luck, but we've had the best luck using them at Kroger. Um, almond milk, heavy whipping cream, you can get anywhere. We like Snowville cream. This is locally made here in Southeast Ohio, and we love using it for uh, making ice cream. It's really good stuff. Uh, we use our mixing bowl to mix up our dry ingredients first. There's a certain sequence to this that we want to use. So let's get started. Let's get started with our sweeteners, and I'll talk a little bit about the sweeteners as we're using them. You can uh, use Swerve, uh, but I wouldn't recommend using just Swerve. One problem is if you just use this, your ice cream is going to be like concrete. So we like to use half a swerve and half a xylitol. Now you can use all xylitol if you want. Some people will give, will cause some GI cramping. So um, we like to make half and half. And we'll use half a cup of uh, swerve and half a cup of xylitol. Now there's other uh, sugar-free substitutes you can use, such as allulose, but we won't talk about those uh, today. Allulose can be a uh, possible uh, substitute, but for today's purposes, we're going to use half xylitol and half swerve. Mix that up real good. Okay. Next thing we're going to use is guar gum and guar gum. This is Bob's guar gum. You can get that at, at a lot of grocery stores as well. We kind of use that to kind of help with the creaminess and consistency of the ice cream. Um, I found that about two-thirds of a teaspoon seems to be the sweet spot with making this. So we'll add two-thirds of a cup with that and we'll add that and also a pinch of salt as well. And um, we like the uh, Redmond salt, but again, just a pinch. Okay. Now, now very important to mix all your dry ingredients up ahead of time. So I want you to get a whisk and just mix everything until it's a uniform consistency. The reason for that is the guar gum, if you do not mix it up properly, will clump and you'll get lumps in your ice cream and that will make you sad. 
So we want to make sure everything is mixed up adequately. And you can tell because it will look uniform and everything is mixed up really well. So now time for our wet ingredients. Uh, first of all, we'll want to use our almond milk. And mix it up really well. Until everything is mixed up. Next, we're going to use uh, dehydrated strawberries. I pre-crush these ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me crushing them. Uh, but when you get these, we would like for you to crush them up really good so you can get small bits of ice cream and ice cream powder. I like to use a uh, rolling pin to crush these up. And again, just kind of get them to a fairly fine consistency. I just like crushing them up while they're inside of the package. Open these up and add these right to your mixture. And you see it's kind of a nice powdery consistency. That's what we want. We want that to flavor uh, our ice cream consistently. So let's go ahead and add this get this added all the way in. Okay, next we're going to add our heavy whipping cream. Uh, whatever you have, we love the Snowville Creamery. And two cups of heavy whipping cream. Okay. And again, because it is whipping cream, you don't want to stir too vigorously with your ice cream at this point. But you just want to get it mixed in um, very well. So go ahead and add your ice cream. Okay. And then just gently swirl it in until everything is mixed up. Looking good. So now you have a low carb ice cream base. For ice cream, uh, our strawberry ice cream, we like to let it sit for a while, uh, anywhere from eight to 20, up to 24 hours, because we want all the flavors to combine. We want those strawberries to rehydrate a little bit, and it'll just give you a better, better result. So what we're gonna do next is get some press and seal, and we're gonna cover this up, and we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And then that goes into the refrigerator. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're here to uh, finish up our keto strawberry ice cream. We had spin in the refrigerator, so now it's ready uh, to use. We have here our Cuisinart ice cream maker. Um, this is a really nice model. It has its own built-in cooling cycle, but you can actually use whatever ice cream maker you have at home. Uh, but this one is a really nice one. Uh, both Tammy and I highly recommend this one to use. Uh, you don't need a freezer and it works like a charm. And, and I'm gonna interrupt um, John, by the way, I'm Tammy, the other part of um, Common Sense Keto is while the kind you keep in the freezer does as good a job and costs a heck of a lot less money, I told him that if I was going to go keto, I needed to be able to eat ice cream. And so to keep me happy, we bought this. Now I did get it at Bed Bath & Beyond with a coupon and, um, and I bought a discount, or uh, Ebates, which is now Rakuten, discount so that did help but um, don't feel that you need to spend this much money it was pricey um, to have your ice cream a cheap Walmart level ice cream maker or absolutely the Cuisinart that you freeze in the freezer makes excellent we'll ice do cream. fine yes we'll do fine so thanks a lot for that Tammy um, you'll see uh, the ice cream yeah, everything's mixed in what we want to do is give it a nice another mix here to mix everything up 
And as you can see, the dehydrated strawberries have uh, absorbed some fluid and water. I should add, if you want to use fresh strawberries, feel free to do so. I would probably use about a cup of fresh strawberries, but be sure to chop them up pretty fine because they can freeze when you put them in the freezer. So you might have large frozen chunks of strawberries. So cut them up pretty fine and I think you'll do okay. Uh, final word on sweeteners. We've used half xylitol, half uh, swerve. Uh, xylitol can be toxic to animals, so you would really want to be careful if you use a lot of xylitol in the house about having them exposed to any animals. But animals shouldn't be eating ice cream anyway, so I don't think that that should be a problem. So. Our, our bowl has been chilling and we're now ready to put it in the ice cream maker. So we're just going to pour this in and um, this particular brand of ice cream maker uh, will set the timer for about 50 minutes and that should give us uh, a very nice creamy scoopable ice cream. Generally, once we get it churned and put it in our container, we would like to refreeze it or put it back in the freezer so it can kind of harden up a little bit longer, if you can wait that long before eating it. So we'll put on the uh, cover here, and uh, we're going to set our timer for 50 minutes, and we're going to turn it on. And when we come back, we'll uh, scoop out our ice cream into our container and we'll be ready to have ice cream. Welcome back everybody for our final shot of our ice cream. Our ice cream is done. It's been in the churner. And we're just gonna open it up to see the final product. Okay, so you can see uh, it's still, it's ice cream, but it's still real nice. And uh, we're going to take a little taste test before we put it in the container. Yeah, we don't want to waste any of this. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, um, I don't mind the soft consistency, but I will say the flavor does get better. Yeah, it's kind of like soft serve almost at the moment. Yeah, and you can see. Yeah. Yeah, you know, how soft it is. And soft it is. And if that's your thing, then go for it. But like Tammy says, we think the flavors will develop better over time. So we're going to put it in this uh, container, and we're going to put it in the freezer. And, uh, it, and it'll scoop just like... Uh, and it'll scoop just like real ice cream and tastes just like real ice cream as well. Well, it is real ice cream. And it is real ice cream because it has heavy whipping cream, which is perfectly keto. But we're just using the artificial sweeteners as well. And you know, you, you call it an artificial sweetener, but, but truly the, the products we're using are actually plant-based sweeteners. Yes, they are natural sweeteners. And I guess we overuse the term artificial sweeteners. We should say sugar substitute. Maybe yes, that might I think be that's a, a better. I think that might be a better term for that. Because it sounds like we've made it out of chemicals, and actually, Swerve and Xylitol can come from Xylitol, the brand we're using. It can either come from um, corn or birch, and we get our Xylitol from Walmart, mm -hmm. and there is, is a birch product. So. It is a plant-based product, and Swerve, I do believe, I think comes from a corn of product. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, like I said, we made strawberry. Uh, you can certainly make whatever flavor you want. We uh, encourage you to experiment with making different flavors and enjoying your keto ice cream. Uh, two of my favorite flavors are uh, butter rum which uh, and butter pecan those are two uh, we use a butter extract uh, I cook some pecans in uh, butter and then I we put them in right before the just end. like the just like the non-keto version yeah. yeah and then um, and I like a caramel and we have a caramel extract and uh, that we use and I love that one and I always still he always still uses I don't make the ice cream actually but he always still uses vanilla because the vanilla gives it a good boost yes. to flavor um, it's cut me keto. 
folks. I've been keto. Uh, this is January. Uh, I'm going on about two years. At the end of this month, yeah, it'll be two yeah. years for me, and it was a little sooner for him. And uh, keto ice cream has been my saving grace. It has kept me on the straight and narrow. Um, I've always gained weight in the summer because I love ice cream. Now I can have it 365 days a year and not gain weight. So uh, we're going to empty this into the container, and we're going to put it in the freezer. We hope you enjoyed making, watching us making ice cream and making this. We encourage you to do so as well. And again, the recipe will be in the show notes of the uh, YouTube video, and I think you'll enjoy it. Give it a try. Give it a try. Bye. Bye-bye.